Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Disney Plus's original film, Stargirl. And this is an adaptation 20 years later of Jerry Spinelli's novel for young kids. And actually, I didn't put that two and two together right away, because I'm like, they're making a Stargirl adaptation like 20 years later? And it really does fit in terms of what Disney Plus is trying to be. And if I could say one thing about this film is it has so much charm to it. It doesn't really have like a Jerry Spinelli kind of voice to it, but Julia Hart, who directed this film and helped write the sc screenplay of this film, really captures the themes of being yourself and expressing yourself and not just being just another person like everybody else and really standing out and that being important and meaningful. And I think the biggest thing of this film, Grace Vanderwall, who I didn't know who this was, I looked her up, I didn't realize like she was a big person, uh, like a big contestant on Mare's Got Talent, but she has so much charm, charisma, and the music's beautiful, her singing's beautiful, and what she brings to this role is so meaningful and powerful and she is the life energy of this film, as she should be, as Stargirl. But also, Graham Verchirier, not sure if I pronounced that right, but this young boy, who's the main character of the film, also brings it. And the chemistry between the two of them, you really feel it. And I thought this was so endearing. And, like, is it a bit mushy and soft at times like yeah it is but the thing is is like this really captures the energy and the message that's really important for younger audiences watching this film i can see where some adults are like turned off by it, it might not hit quite there with them but for me it really did and i felt for these two young people and i felt for their budding relationship together and also for them to be themselves because that's one of the biggest journeys in life is coming to grips with who you are and being comfortable with who you are. And it's becoming where more and more young people hopefully are feeling where it's like they can be themselves and it's a new challenge because there are a lot of people out there who are rigid and not comfortable with that and this film really takes an eye to that. And along with this nice story and the charm to it, there's two strong leads, Giancarlo Esposito has a supporting role and he's great in it as always. I l really love this film and I would really watch it again. It's cute, it's endearing, it's charming, it's meaningful. And I think for the younger audiences it is, I would say it would be higher for me if it really did hit for those, like a little less mushy at times and really felt like everybody would get the same out of it. But the younger audiences, I think, are going to get a lot, we'll probably get more out of this, but I feel like I got a lot out of it still. And I would highly recommend this. If you have Disney+, Plus, go check out Stargirl. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.